All right. Okay. Now I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Man, a few seconds ago, I jumped on here to invite um, some followers from my LaRue Live page and I was on the wrong page. I was inviting them here. So I had to go back and delete the video. So anyway, if you saw that, my apologies. I was moving too fast. I had my glasses on and I couldn't see. What is that about? But anyway, good morning. So glad you are here today. You're watching a replay. I am just so excited. Hey, Aisha, I know you probably were like, what in the world is she doing? I was inviting people from my LaRue Live page to come and watch this worship leaders uh, chat. I got it right. Yeah, I was like, what? When I clicked off and, and I saw Aisha jump on, I was like, wait, no, that's not right. <laughs> so anyway, I'm here. I haven't had any caffeine this morning. I don't really do caffeine anymore. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Mia. Hi, Stephanie. Even though my shirt says all I need is coffee and mascara. I got my mascara, but I don't have the coffee. I don't drink coffee too much anymore, but anyway, I don't have it. <laughs> ah, how are you guys today? How was your weekend? Did y'all have a great weekend? It was Father's Day weekend. It was my first Father's Day with my dad in heaven don't blame it on the cough caffeine because i do use my oils and i haven't put my oils on yet this morning either but i did have my juice my ningxia juice but anyway i don't hi zanine good morning y'all i um had i have to show you look at my backdrop of my office it's um hymns a printout of hymns and then one of my um Choir members, long time friends um, here in the choir. Look what she did to my office. Look at that. Look at, she's got, she took my CDs and put them, put my covers and my CDs in frames. Isn't that cool? And those are the hymns. And then she did my, she believed she could, so she did thingy and isn't that just beautiful I was so surprised when I walked in this morning she did it yesterday so cool yeah hi Gia yeah Stephanie how how was it for you uh, you know it was a little emotional Saturday um, loop over the hymns you want to see the hymns Gia let's see um, she has Pass Me Not, O Gentle Savior, I Surrender All, Blessed Assurance, my mama's favorite. Uh, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty at the cross. All good Baptist hymns. <laughs> what a friend we have in Jesus. I need thee every hour. Just a closer walk and how great thou art. Really, really great um, songs, hymns. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, they're great hymns. So this morning is going to be a little different, y'all. It's interesting. Um, you know, I'm, I pray for you guys. I thank you for, for always watching and um, for being here. And those of you that are watching the replay, I pray for you. Pray for all of you. And, um, you know, because I don't ever want to um, step outside of what God has for you and for us. It was emotional Saturday, but the praise and worship Sunday. Man, yep. It absolutely the same Saturday. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, yesterday, you know, just mm -hmm. praying and, and trying to connect with the with the father and to see what we were going to talk about today. And it was it, the f first thing that came to my mind was, you know, question and answer. So I, you know, just I don't like to just go on the first thought all the time um, just because I want to. Make sure it's not my own mind. <laughs> um, but then just getting up this morning and praying and um, the Lord said to just make myself available. So that's what I'm doing today. Just making myself available. I don't have any notes. I don't have anything. Um, so I'm just going to make myself available. And um, let's, just, if you, let's just chat. If you have any questions or things that maybe you are struggling with, I know a couple of you... Um, call me like a, just, you know, with, uh, with our mentoring mentorship, um, you know, I've made myself available in that respect. 
um, that you we we talk. Um, some of you weekly, some of you daily, <laughs> some of you um, once a month, and um, and that's cool. So I just want to let you know that I am available um, for mentorship. I'm available for just you know even like right now if you have any questions about something. Good morning, Marcy. Um, that you have, and you know I don't. I don't. Um, you're welcome. Amen. <laughs> Good afternoon, Michael. Good morning for us. Good afternoon to you, Michael. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you have any questions or, you know, just things that you want to discuss or some insight or anything. Aw, uh, Aisha, <laughs> you're totally fine. I'm being silly. I was just giving you a hard time. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm making myself available. Even in this, these few moments that we have together, you know, um, the Bible says that, you know, to get to get wisdom but in, in, and to get understanding. So, you know, when we want to grow, when we want to um, advance in the things of Christ, that we want to make sure that we gain uh, wisdom and understanding and knowledge. Um, so that's, you know, this is all a part of that. How can I get in touch for mentorship? So I have a scheduling app called Calendly. Um, and I don't know, I think I can text in here. Oh yeah. So this is the link for scheduling. Calend. Calendly.com forward slash LaRue Live. And if you click that link, that will take you to a calendar uh, that you can schedule um, a free 15 minute call or a 30 minute call that is just as if you were doing a lesson, but it would be the, um, just, you know, for this, for the time frame of, uh, 30 minutes. Um, and then there will be a link for you to pay for that time frame. Um, and then also you can do uh, a 15 minute call as well. Good morning, Frederick. Good to see you, sir. From Columbus, Georgia. I hope all is well there. I miss you guys. So, yeah, you can absolutely um, connect with me there, Judith. Yeah. You know, one of the things that I am making myself grow and learn more of, of course, I have a vocal coach and um, I meet with her once a month. And she is, hi, Candice. And she um, is training me and developing and, and growing and disciplining me <laughs> um, as a vocalist uh, because I want to I want to continue to learn and I want to continue to um, just know more about what my craft is and so uh, and then everything that I've, I'm learning I like to share with with uh, with you all um, but something else that I'm I'm learning more about is my finances um, you know God gives us the power to get wealth and he gives us ideas and he gives us um Good morning, Tita. Am I training? Yeah, yeah. Where you been, Judith? <laughs> um, but so yeah, so I'm just you know growing and learning more about uh, about my finances. I want to be more accountable um, and just make sure I'm being a good steward over over our finances. My husband and I are buying a home, and so just learning about that and you know just increasing in knowledge. That's what we've got to do, right? So that's why I am I'm making myself available for you all. If you need some mentorship, if you need, um, if you right here while we're on this chat this morning, if you have any questions about something, uh, Tita and uh, Fred, I was telling the, the group here that, um, you know, the Lord just told me this morning to make myself available. And so that's what I'm doing, letting you know that I'm available for mentorship, for answering any questions here on this chat, or if you want to connect with me afterwards, um, I put a link up. Uh, we can do vocal coaching uh, via the online. Uh, I have an online um, platform. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. An online platform that I use called Zoom. If you guys uh, were with me for the Becoming a Vocal Athlete webinar, that was what I used Zoom, and so we would use the same thing to mm -hmm. to do a vocal lesson. And yep, yeah, that was my mama. 
<laughs> so guys, so how are you? Are you, everything is well? Let me ask this question. If you are a worship leader, you are a lead worship leader, can you just say me or yep, give me a little icon or just something. Let me know who's on here. How many of you on here are lead worship leaders? Who is a lead worship, like you're the main person Okay, I got one person. So out of 21, only one person here. And even if you're watching a replay, mm -hmm. let me know. I've had worship leader friends who have had very long rehearsals, but feels it's perfect. The sound versus spending time and flowing. I have worship leader friends who have very long rehearsals, but feels it's perfect. It is to perfect the sound versus spending time. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, Courtney Fred, good morning. Hi, Sheena. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> um, Stephanie, you know, I just, um, hi, Bernice. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Great, great, great. By God's grace, I do receive songs as worship leaders sometimes when leading. I want to ask all these songs. How can I get these out to bless the world? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, Michael, that's tough. Um, but let me ask uh, Stephanie. I don't know if you were answering, a, asking a question, but you know, I I try to as it relates to time. I really try to make sure that um, you know when you're teaching a new song and you're trying to perfect the sound. You know, if mm -hmm. we have to be prepared enough so that way um, we don't try to rush teaching the song and we don't spend so much time on that song, so that way we can kind of spread it out. So I'll give my my team, if I know if it's a difficult song, I'll give us at least a month to learn it. Um, like the song that we did this past Sunday was called um, The African Medley by Ty Tribbett. So much fun. Um, but we learned it. You know, it's a pretty quick song, but to be able to learn it and get in our spirit to where we know exactly where we're going next. We probably spent about a month on that song. Um, and that's so that way, you know, we're not, they're late. We're not draining um, I'm not draining the team, but just really taking our time to learn the song and, and um, not spending extra amount of time uh, in one rehearsal. So I don't know, maybe you can encourage your your friend to, to do that, to spread out their rehearsals with that song that they're trying to perfect the sound, spread it out over a couple of weeks, you know. Um, uh, how do you get these songs out to bless the world? Man, you know, Michael... Um, we have been given the the um, the gift of the internet, <laughs> and I would just say start doing. And I've encouraged a couple people here uh, that's on this chat now, but I would say just start going on your mm -hmm. Facebook Live or on your um, on your Instagram. I'm sorry, my family's having a full on conversation here, but I would say go on your Instagram Live, your Facebook Live, and the other part about that is you want to make sure that you have a copyright on it if it's original music. Um, so that way you have, you know, your songs copyrighted. Um, but just to share them with the world, go on YouTube, record them and, and create a YouTube channel and share them there. Ask people to follow you on YouTube. Ask your your Instagram friends to follow you on YouTube. So, Michael, and I know you shared one with us. You put one on our Worship Leaders Association page not too long ago. That was really, really a beautiful song. So, you know. Do that or, you know, like I said, have uh, share them on your Instagram page or on a YouTube channel. OK. Um, good morning, Alonzo. Hi, Flo. Yeah. Give him more time for sure. How do you write a song? How to practice writing us? How do you practice writing a song? Mm, that's a great question. You know, I'm going to have my friend John Dreyer. He is a worship pastor at a church here in Orlando and he when I was when I do the summits he does the session on songwriting um, because honestly I don't really know how to teach mm -hmm. songwriting um, I just write what comes out of my heart um, and I always go to scripture um, to to just validate the lyrics and making sure that what I'm saying is um, is correct scripturally you know um but as far but i know that he he is able to talk about like the formatting of a song um i think the first thing though alonzo is you when you write a song you want to decide whether or not 
is this going is this song something that is congregational or is this song going to be um you know more soloist soloistic in nature you know is it going to be a song that some people are going to just sing as a solo or is it going to be a congregational song so i think that's the first thing to um to think about um and you know you understand the formats of of songs um you know, you have a verse, you have a chorus, you have a verse, sometimes you have a bridge, and then you have a chorus. <laughs> That's kind of the the standard format of writing songs. Um, but yeah, I'm going to definitely have him come on and do a <clears throat> do a session on, on songwriting. Okay? I'm glad you asked that question, though. Really great question. Cool. All right. Shoot them. We've got three questions that we just answered. That was really great. What else? I was asking you all if you were worship leaders. I was wondering, do you all have a printed um, standard or uh, policies or handbook or guidelines, expectations? Do you have a, one that is printed or one that you communicate? How do you communicate your, this is my question to you all. How do you all communicate your expectations to your team or to new team members? How do you communicate your expectations to your team? That's my question. Okay, you do. You're working on that now. Awesome. Can you offer any advice on how to best manage yet get the best of your team when you are multiple campuses, multiple service ministries without team getting burnt out? Okay, that's a great question. How do you handle jealousy on the team? Years ago we had them. Now it's all verbal. Okay. Okay, very cool. Um, how do you offer, okay, multiple campuses, multiple service ministry. So um, do you, does your team travel, Bravest, does your team travel to different to the different campuses? With you having multiple campuses, do you take the same team and then you guys go to the other campus or how does that work? without them getting burnt, without your team getting burnt out. And do you have a full choir? Do you have a praise team? I know I've seen a couple of ministries where they literally load up their whole team and they go from one campus to the other campus. Um, and, you know, I would just, I, I'm, and I'm sure you're probably doing this already, but just making sure with scheduling, um, you know, making sure that they are, um, that they're all on the same page with what is expected and what is what you're what you're asking them to do as far as serving at both campuses. Whoops, bring my slur. Yeah, uh, we have members spread out between the two, and it's just a praise team. The the praise team that goes to different campuses. Okay, yeah, and that's great that you have members that are spread out between the two. Um, I would say though, just making sure that when you're scheduling them, that they are. You know that they're okay with what's being expected of them. Let's let them know that they have the opportunity to take vacation time, just like you do at work. You know, you if you need to take time off or if you need to take a week off, you know that they it's okay for them to do that. Um, I find that a lot of times, though, people two campuses, two services. A lot of times, people don't want to take a break. You have to make some of them take breaks. Um, I know with our choir, we've done that. You do four services, four. Four, two campuses, two services, two campuses, four services. So your praise team is singing for four camp, four services in between two services. Yeah, I would definitely let them know, Bravest, that it's okay for them to take time off. You know, um, sometimes we can, <clears throat> you know, just drive people, drive them, drive them, drive them, and then they feel obligated to um, to 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 work and work and serve and serve and serve until they're totally burnt out. So I would put it on them and give them that responsibility or give them that freedom to say, if you need to take this time off, do please do that. But also at the same time, making sure that you have coverage, you know, for the, for that. Um, I was going to say, we gave our choir off um, the month of July uh, they didn't, a lot of them left kicking and screaming. They didn't want to take the break, but we made them, you know, take the break because, you know, summertime people are traveling with their families and it was just a good reprieve, you know? Um, so I would definitely start by letting them know that it's okay 
And you have to be okay with it being okay <laughs> with them taking that time off because people just need a they need to to um, to take that time and you need to take that time. So, um, yeah, I would start definitely with that, letting them know that it's okay to take that time. Um, how do you handle jealousy on the worship team? Jealousy, mm, jealousy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's a good question there. Um, if it's something that you know that is already that is that is definitely a, an issue, I would. I I don't know. That's a great question. You know, I think I'm. I think that I may be dealing with that to some degree now. It's not really an issue. But so I'm just watching. I'm watching, and I'm being very prayerful um, about it. But. You know, I think a lot of times jealousy comes because people just want to be wanted, needed. You know, they want to they want to have a place um, in they want to be acknowledged. They want to be recognized. So um, <clears throat> just be very prayerful about the root of the jealousy. Like, where is that coming from? Is it because this person needs some attention? Do they need some love? Do they need some, you know, and they want it in that place, but that's not for them, you know, so, um, yeah, just be very prayerful about, um, about that want that individual. Um, and, um, you know, again, just ask God to show you the root of it. So that way you can deal with it at the root and not just the symptom of that. Okay. Uh, guidelines and expectations are given prior to join as well as team covenant that has to be signed. Awesome. Okay. I am one of two leaders, but not the lead trying to get my lead worship leader to buy into creating and uploading expectations for the team. I think we need something written and official. Okay. Yeah, it's great when you have um, something in writing that you can explain and let folks know what is expected of them. So that way when situations come up and uh, you can always refer back to what they agreed to when they join the team. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and and same for you, Alonzo. Even just within that, um, the expectation and guidelines, and the we call it a policy and procedure manual. Um, <clears throat> you know, just addressing that in that uh, handbook that you know, clicks and jealousy and backbiting and you know things of that nature are just not not a part of the team. It's not going to be tolerated, and it's not a part of of promoting a spirit of unity. Um, and so that would be a great way to, you know, to address it as a whole, you know, cool. Well, great guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that I was able to help some of you, those of you that asked your questions. Thank you so much. Um, again, just remember that I'm available for coaching, for, um, mentorship. Uh, I will put the link back here again that you can schedule some time. Calendly.com forward slash Rue Live. There's that. And uh, can you create a sample maybe for purchase? We ha so we yeah, I can actually do that. I can make some resources available for you. How often should you refresh the team on policy and procedures? Um, Stephanie, I was trying to do that at least once a year. Um, you know, we go through a full cycle of new new people and um i haven't done it yet this year because we did a <laughs> sing a song because we did a fellowship um but i will definitely i'm definitely planning to need to do that this year because we've had so many new people um sing a song i'll sing one of the hymns what a friend we have in jesus all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. And oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks again for joining me today. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you next Tuesday morning at 8.30 a.m. Love you much. Bye.